Kingdom Blessings. I'm Pastor Sheila. Are you ready to be blessed, revived, and refreshed? It's time for Moed Shel Raga. The appointed time of refreshing. Come on. You know how we do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. coming from Psalm 119. We're still in Psalm 119. And welcome to those of you that are first time Moet Show Raga viewers. And we want to encourage you to go back to the previous weeks. We have been in Psalm 119 for some time. Today we're going to look at verse 144. 144. Psalm 119. Verse 144. 144. 
and we're reading from the Life Application Study Bible. It says, your decrees are always fair. Help me to understand them that I may live. Your decrees, God's decrees, are always fair. Not sometimes, but always fair. Help me to understand them that I may live. My dearly beloveds, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear sons and daughters, I want to remind you, as the psalmist says today, your decrees. Again, whose decrees are we talking about? We're talking about God's word, his commands, his laws, his statutes, his principles. They are always, they are always fair. Always. As we've said previously, there are so many things that are unfair in this world. But one thing that we can rest assured in that, the fact that the decrees of our God are always fair. They're the same today, yesterday, and forever. We can count on him. Whatever he says is fair. So the psalmist says, help me to understand them. Sometimes we don't understand them. We don't understand how we should treat our enemies with love. Turn the other cheek. We, we don't understand that. But when the Lord helps us to understand it, then it is that we may live. So I want to encourage you today to be reminded that the decrees of the Lord are fair. They're righteous. They're always righteous. They're always fair. And they will always be established. And let's ask God today, help us to understand them that we may live. Because my desire is to walk in his decrees, to meditate on his decrees, to live in his decrees, to live out his decrees, for I love them. Hallelujah. Your decrees are always fair. Help me to understand them that I may live. I only could live if I understand and I know your decrees. That That's real life. I'm not worried about the laws of the land. I will obey them because the Lord told us to obey those that have rule over us. We're supposed to do the right thing. But I want to, above anything else, obey the decrees of our Father. So let's pray and ask Holy Spirit to help us. Father, thank you. First, that you are our Father and our King. Thank you. We crown you as Lord, Master, Savior, and King of our lives. Because we are submitted unto you as your servants. We are your kingdom, the kingdom of God. Holy Spirit, help us to bring the kingdom of heaven everywhere. Give us understanding, Father, that we will comprehend your decrees, your principles, your laws. Give us understanding, Holy Spirit, that we may live. You said in all our ways to get understanding. You told us to get wisdom for it's the principal thing. And if we lack wisdom, we can come to you. For you give liberally, freely, and you upbraid not. You don't discourage it, but you invite us to come and ask for wisdom. So, Father, we ask for wisdom today that we will discern the truth of your word. That we will be able to comprehend the breadth, the length, the depth, the width of your love for us. That we would be ministers of reconciliation here on this earth trying to reach out to a dying man and let them know that you are God, that you are sovereign, that you are king. Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace and your peace. We confess our faults before you. Have mercy upon us according to thy loving kindness, thy multitude of grace and mercy. Blot out every transgression, oh God. Forgive us of every sin. Father, we love you and we bless you. Have your way in our lives. We thank you. Thank you for your word. We pray for the fivefold ministry gifts. 
every apostle, every prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, every Levite, every psalmist, every intercessor, minstrel, Lord God. Father, I'm praying for bishops everywhere. I'm praying, Lord God, that you would strengthen your body. That we would release everything that does not belong to us. We renounce unforgiveness. We renounce and denounce resentment. We renounce and denounce low self-esteem. We renounce it. Anything that would try to attach itself to our emotions, we renounce it on ourselves and our children. We denounce it. We don't want any parts of it. We only want your spirit, Holy Spirit. God, we love you. We adore you. We bless you. We pray for the body of Christ. We pray for the church at large. We pray for the scattered tribes of Yeshua. We pray, Lord God, that your will will be done in our lives as it is done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our sin, Father, as we forgive others who's transgressed against us. Lord God, we thank you. We bless you. We adore you. Thank you so much for your word, God. We're praying for the sick and afflicted. You said if there's any sick amongst us, they should call the elders of the church and we pray the prayer of faith and they shall recover. So, Father, we release the prayer of faith now and send the word of healing in hospitals, Lord. In homes, Lord. Touch with your finger of love. Father, we bless you and we adore you. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Thank you for always hearing our prayer. In Jesus' precious name, we love you. Amen. Amen. Well, beloved, this has been Moet Shawada, the appointed time of refreshing. I pray that you've been blessed, revived, and refreshed in the presence of the Lord. But, wait a minute. Before I finish, let me remind you, Saturday, August the 27th, I'm coming to Jersey. So I'm looking for all my family and friends for worship celebration. Come and celebrate the Lord with me. All the information is in the description box. We are at the mansion. Meet me at the mansion so that we can worship the master, our master, Savior, Lord God. We're praising God for another year of life. We're praising God for allowing and anointing me to write, record, and release two songs until you come and faithful always. I'm looking for you. I'm looking for you and I'm so excited. I haven't been home in a while, so Come on, meet me there at the Mansion 100 Blanchard Road, South Orange, New Jersey. I'm looking for you there. Amen. I love you all. Shalom.